campers, it's Gainer again. Um, I'm going to continue this week with the whole theme of 3D, uh, 3D projects um, because I'm enjoying myself so much. I'm going to show you, it's called, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's called a pinwheel box and it's done with the envelope punch board. Isn't that sweet? The only bit of glue is holding this on and it opens like that. Isn't that cute? I did my paper the wrong way around. My fold should have been the other end. So, Because I, I wanted that green on the outside. But isn't that sweet? Uh, and you can get your embellishments in here. So they make a lovely gift. Or you could get a nice candle. Or um, oh, Reese's button up to pieces. So you've got to do... You're supposed to do it... If these flaps were on that side... You do it clockwise, but mine are going that way, so I'm doing mine anti-clockwise. So you fold, 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 and no, it's wrong. <laughs> That's right. Fold, 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 and tuck. No, it's still wrong. <laughs> but I just confused myself. So I'm still going clockwise, so I need to go that way, that way, that way. <laughs> now why did all my flaps that <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, I'll get there. No, I was going clockwise again, that's why. Right. So I need to go that one, that one, that one. No. Still hiding my flaps. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it? Alright, let me see. That way round. So if I put that one as the last, it's got to go I think that's right. No. I'll just keep tucking on my flaps under. I'll, I'll do it the right way around next time, I promise. Oh, my silly sausage. That's better. Yay. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> oh, well. You know me. I always get things backwards. Right, you're going to need your envelope punch board and a piece of design series paper. Six by six. So, I want my flaps of them on the outside. So, you're going to pop this into your board. And you're going to score at two and a quarter and punch and score. And then three and a quarter punch and score. And you're just going to do that on all four sides. So two and a quarter and three and a quarter. I love this. No glue really. There's no the only bit of glue is to keep that little tab off. Uh, a gift. To say who little sentiment and a little bow. That's the only bit of glue. So last but no means least. Two and a quarter and three and a quarter. Love it. And that's it. You can pop that away now. Don't need that no more. See that the tab is in the bin. And pop that to one side. Right. You'll see now we've got these quirky little bits on each end. And we're just going to take them all off. We don't need them. I'm going to cut up the score line. Remove that one. And that one. And all four lines. I'm not going to burnish yet because I'm going to do some more scoring. But we'll use the scoreboard for that. Mm. 
هي اللي تعال While we're here, just cut up a notch because these are our little flaps. last night again tonight I invited them for a spot or something to eat so they are quite enjoying we used to go to each other's houses all the time but I don't tend to get out much these days so I won't go out in the night I hate it I hate my husband driving in the night I don't feel secure oh. but, uh, I don't like it so many idiots on the road these days Right, fetch in your score board. And you're going to pop this in the corner. Taking your smallest, you're going to score at 5 eighths down to there. On all four sides. That's how your little flap is, so you can turn it over. You could have done this on your other trimmer even but it's quicker I think this way so now we're going to burnish all our score lines and I don't doesn't matter which I've got them the right way now so we're going to fold them backwards and burnish so do them once first So simple. Cute little box. You could put a little, you know, a nice little pair of earrings or a nice little bracelet would fit in there. Beautiful. So now we've done the outside ones, we're just going to go in and burnish these score lines as well. The flaps are done, so we can get them out of the way. So cute. I can't believe I forgot what it was called. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. If you didn't laugh, I'd cry. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to turn this over now with our lovely flap. And we are going to add... It's a Tombow, not a Tombow. We could use Tombow, but I'm going to use Fast Fuse for the video. On all four flaps. And it's the quickest little box you'll ever make. It's so cute. You can do them as big and as small as you want. But I'm not on the depths. It's up to you what you pick the depths at. This cute. So now we're just going to fold up and we're going to match them corners up to perfection. Can you see? As straight as possible. I'll be posting another. Uh, Twelve of the thank you cards tomorrow, and then the following week I'll be posting the last twelve. So yay! So let me just grab some more embellishments because these fit perfectly. I like the little sequins this time. Pop them in your box. Look how perfect that is. So now we are going clockwise, I think. Oh, have I done it wrong again? <laughs> Uh, let's try. Clockwise, clockwise, 
clockwise and clockwise. Yay, I did it right. <laughs> I'm just going to tuck that little flap right under there. Whoops. Oh my gosh, have I done it right again? Have I done it wrong? I'm just going to keep tucking flaps. <laughs> I thought it's probably me just tucking the wrong flap under. Whoops. Oh, come on. Yay, I've done it. <laughs> I squashed that corner for some reason. I don't know what's the matter with this one. Oh, I know what it is. Look. I didn't trim down all the way. Perfect. That's better. Now he's a little bit squashed. That's it. It's just squashed in that corner for some reason. It doesn't want to stay up. Oh, see, it keeps popping down. Well, perhaps it's perhaps me just being a little bit heavy handed. Oh my gosh, I know something's wrong. I've got to take it and have a look. The corner's not glued down properly there. I'm just going to grab it. Oh, where are they? They're there. Glued up. I don't know why that didn't stick down. Probably not enough fast views. That's better. Try not to have any poking out though, I don't want to get stuck. Perfect. Right. That's Close. 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 Excuse me, back to this corner, doesn't it? What's wrong with this? Why isn't it sitting right? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to burnish those. Make sure they're creased properly. Gone ahead. This is out of Woodworks, if I can just reach. And lovely little tag there saying for you. And if you buy the set, it comes in a bundle, and that's the little gift tag that cuts out. Um, now we're going to attach a little bow. So, somebody asked me to show them the bow maker, so I'm going to do that while I'm here as well. The lady didn't know how to use it. It's so simple. She bought one. So you're going to put your pegs in and decide how big you want your bow. This one is going to be a small one. So I'm going to leave them, say, one, two spaces in between. Let me see if I can uh, tilt this. No, I can't. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Tilt it at the front so you can get a better angle. So you take, I always leave mine attached. Take your ribbon, hold the peg and go around. If you need more, you can always pull it more. 
before you start crossing over so that you've got your loop you go round tuck it under and fetch it over the top then you pull this piece and then you just take it under and through and at this stage you can wiggle so you can get your bow in the center and then once you pull there's no way that is coming off and then you remove your little bow isn't that sweet you can manipulate your tails then and the reason I leave it attached is because the only bit of waste I'm going to get now is that little bit there and that perfect so I can't remember your name sweetheart but there you go I have uh, I will do I'll do a couple more actually while we're here see if we can get some I'll show you some doubles so I'm gonna fetch my I've lost my poking tool <laughs> there she goes again I put something down I can't find it where's my <laughs> I've lost my piercing tool <laughs> oh wow there it is it slid under my desk so I'm gonna take a glue dot and this bow is so cute, it's a little bit tiny, but you don't really need nothing humongous. So you can add your glue dot and then just squeeze so it's not hang hanging out anywhere else. And then attach that to the little tab on there because we're going to. And then you're going to take another glue dot or two and just add them. That's sweet. And we're going to just pop that right along there. And that, if you want, see, that's the only bit of waste. I will show you some more bowls in a minute and um, with different. Um, ribbons as well so you get a, pe a better view we'll do some double uh, bowls and we'll do some triples as well while we're here because i haven't done a lot tonight so i'm just going to grab a little rhinestone i'm going to pop that right there in the center of that little for you so that's our little box for some reason it's a bit squashed for some reason and that's the other one i made perfect I don't think they're meant to join too much but there's the little boxes hope you like them I'll leave them on display right I'm gonna fetch this bow maker back in and you've got one two three four five six seven holes you want a massive bow using big ribbon obviously I tend to leave mine uh, with two in a gap and you get some perfect little bows that are perfect. Right, let me grab some ribbon. Let me show you with this new beautiful organza ribbon, which you can colour any colour you want with the blends. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper. And I'm going to colour some. I'm going to use uh, Rich Razzleberry in the paler. And this is the dark or the light. That's oh, the dark. Let's grab the light one. Perfect. And let me put that at that end. And it dries within a, a couple of seconds. You just take your blends. And you just run it along your ribbon. Oops. You can even do the centre if you want that doing. But it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to take this ribbon off now from there. And I'm going to show you how I use my bow maker. I'm not an expert. and I might even have to have a bit more actually. Because I don't think that's going to be long enough. So let's go another 
say to there. Isn't that pretty? And you can even turn it over and do it on the other back so you know there's no white showing anywhere. And like I say, it doesn't take long at all to dry, it's fabulous. Perfect. So I'm going to do a double bow with this one, I think, if I've got enough. Isn't that beautiful, that organza ribbon? So, you're going to hold your end. So you've got enough to make a tail, so that's plenty enough for tail. Hold it on, wrap it round once. I'm going to pull it a bit more because it's got a lot of ribbon. And you're going to wrap it round twice. And I'm going to pull back now, so that rib tie is a little bit short. And then exactly the same principle, you're just going to go underneath and over the top. Fetch these two, and then it's over and under, and then just making sure your little bow is in the center. You can twist this and just pull tight. You can manipulate it. Isn't that pretty? There's your little bow. You can now separate these. One of them get underneath. <laughs> they weren't well truly stuck together. Just manipulate. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Is that it? Yeah. Look how pretty that is. Separate the two bows. Really deep con your tongue's sticking out here. <laughs> deep thoughts, see. There we go. Look how pretty that lovely little bow is. And then you can mess around with your tails. Isn't that beautiful? So you've got that one bow there. I love that. And you can wrap it around as many times as you want. I'll show you a double bow now. Using, let me see if I've got any old retired. I've got some old retired stuff. I don't even think it's stamping up actually. No, it's not. So I'm going to cut this about... And I'm going to move this one, make it slightly bigger. And I'm going to cut two lengths at 10 inches. To give myself a nice little bow. I don't mind practicing with the non stamping up ribbon. It's a stamping up one, I don't want to go uh, wasting. So you're literally going to take both ends. And you're just going to repeat the process. Keeping those together. Wrap that around. I'm not going to go around twice because it's a bigger bow. We're going to then you can add two different ribbons to this. Absolutely wonderful. Grab your two little ends. Wriggle it until you've got your bow in the middle and pull. Isn't that lovely? And again, you can separate these. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oops. Can't separate them, then. Oh, that's lush. 
absolutely lush. And you've got two tails. You can have one tail at the front, a little bit shorter. And then one at the back, a little bit longer. Gorgeous, beautiful, absolutely stunning little ribbon. I oh, love it. Isn't that pretty? So there's those two little bows. Get rid of this there. Uh, I'm going to show you one now with the gingham ribbon. I absolutely love this stuff. Makes a beautiful, beautiful bow. Last one. Again, I'm going to leave it attached to the the right, the reel. There's those two beautiful bows, aren't they so sweet? Here's me showing people how to make bows, and a couple of weeks back, I couldn't even make one myself. <laughs> so up, over, around, up and under, through the loop. loop in the centre and pull. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Remove it. If you uh, and you can manipulate your tails as well. Like I'm saying, I just love this gingham ribbon. It's beautiful. See which way it wants to go. Your tail first. And because we all love a bow that ties round. Oh, I love it. Isn't that pretty? So, there you go. That's the only bit of waste I had off that ribbon. And these will get put to a, another project. So, they won't go to waste. Absolutely adore the gingham ribbon. It's so pretty. And this one. Oh, beautiful. So, I hope you uh, can follow that now, my lovely. Um... I do apologise for not remembering your name. I have so many questions and so many um, comments that I, I love to answer and I love to answer them all. But uh, I said I would try my best and do one for you. Isn't that pretty? You can go buy some of this. I wonder if this would stain. Let's, let's have a quick, let's have a go with the pink pirouette. I've just thrown that piece of paper. I suppose any ribbon. It's got to be the alcohol marker. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Lovely tinge. Oh, wow. Love it. This, I chose the paler colour. Give it like an ombre effect. You know where? If you go right along the edges. Oh, it's pretty. Really, really pretty. Just a subtle hint. And you can go back into these grooves. Rub along the edges. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. Love, love, love. Well, I hope you enjoyed, everyone. Um, a thumbs up and a share would be amazing. That would really make my day. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Uh, and don't forget, if you do press that subscribe button, please press the little bell afterwards and you'll be notified daily of all the videos I upload, which tends to be every day unless I'm absolutely dying. So, And uh, I made this little origami gift box earlier at the, uh, at the Merry Music. So I might make that tomorrow. You never know, unless I can find something else. <laughs> Until next time, love you all. Take care. Bye.